what was it like having Chris back? And 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 what did you see in terms of um, him? Because he's always hard on himself, saying he's got to be better next game. So what do you anticipate him playing like next game? Um, it was good to have him back. Uh, you know, we miss C, no one of our leaders. Um, you know, does so much on the court. Um, but, yeah, you know, just it's good for him to be back, you know, get a feel for it. And, you know, come out, you know, and do what he do, you know, tomorrow. Next up is Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic, followed by Mark McLoon. Hey, Mikkel, good to see you, man. Thank you for the time. Uh, Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Uh, Coach said earlier that he's noticed Dario has had a lot more confidence lately. He didn't have it early in the playoffs, and he's, he seems to have found it. And then Coach credited you guys. He said it was a lot of it had to do with his teammates picking him up, letting him know, hey, we need you, and encouraging him. I'm curious if you've seen it the same way. And if so, do you have any, any memories of, you know, seeing that transition in Dario? Was there a play in practice, a good game? Was there something that might have triggered that confidence for him? Um, I just think, you know, we encourage everybody, but I just think I just – just discredit Dario a little bit. I think he just he's confident just in himself and he's been working. Um and he just gained it himself. I we always encouraged, but I think that's really him just going out there and playing the way he's been playing and um, you know, just being a force he is. Hey Mikhail. Uh, oh go ahead. Sorry. Now go ahead, Mark. Okay. Hey Mikhail, thanks for the time today. Hey, just curious, um, being in this kind of the same city, the same arena, and kind of the same spot you were um, back on May 27th, the last time you guys lost a playoff game, how, how much does it help just having a kind of familiar setting and and kind of, uh, you know, being in this situation before winning the series when it comes to bouncing back from a loss like last night? Um, I mean, yeah, that helps, you know, obviously, you know, learning and knowing, um, you know, how to deal with losses, but uh yeah, I man, we just we're just the type of team we just know even if it's regular season or playoffs, when to lose, I don't always come back and uh, bounce back. So, um, you know, we're just gonna bring it tomorrow and just you know you know play our way. Next up is gonna be Gina Mizell with Suns.com, followed by Mark Medina. Hey, Mikhail, kind of a, a broader question for you. Um, do you have any pregame routines that, that you do have to do before every game just to kind of get yourself in the right headspace to kind of be locked in onto the game? And if so, like, how did you develop that over your years of, of playing ball? Um, no, not crazy. Just doing a, just recovery stuff before, stretches, get stretching and stuff. No particular, you know, crazy scheme. So, like, how do you mentally get yourself ready for a game then? Uh, just, you know, just prepare throughout the whole day. Um, watch film and then be ready for play. Just been doing it ever since I was a kid. And, you know, it's always prepare yourself. Just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just I'm just ready to play. Next is Mark Medina with USA Today, followed by Law Murray. Hey, Kel, good to see you. Um, I was wondering, the, this whole season, what has Chris been like as a teammate, and what do you think are the main things that you've learned from him? Uh, I mean, he's been a great teammate, um, great leader. Uh, like I always say, he's, I feel he's a better person. He is basketball players is how he is off the court. Um, and, yeah, I just learned a lot from him, just all little things, just how to be a leader, just things on the court as well, defensively, offensively, so um, – you know, it's great to have him and, you know, happy he's here. Next is Law Murray with The Athletic, followed by David Chinolato. Mikel, it's good, man. Uh, when, you, when you look at this Clippers offense and how perimeter-based they tend to be, obviously you're a key part of how uh, Phoenix is defending uh, throughout the season, especially in this series. Like, What do you feel like is your biggest challenge defensively as an individual uh, defending the personnel of the Clippers right now? Um, it's just, you know, they just, they're just five out. So just kind of just being solid. Um, you know, you got teammates with you. Uh, you know, it's, you got four of the guys behind you. So just being solid, just doing what I do every day, every game, just in every season, every regular season game, playoffs, just 
go on wherever to try to be solid, know their tendencies, and make it tough on them. Final two questions are David Chinolato from Italy and Christo Saltis. Hey, Mikhail, you guys have always been great in bouncing back after a, a loss. Uh, what what made you guys so good in doing that? Is there any secret there? No, nah, just just our culture, just how we are every day. Just, um, you know, never too high, never too low. And when we lose, you're not going to put our heads down. We're just going to know what we have to do to be better. Um, playoffs is good because you play the same team, so... You can fix it and come the next day with a you know whatever game plan you have. So um, it's just our culture. We just come in, we lock in, and you know, on to the next one. Actually, going to have two more here. Next is going to be Christos Saltis from Greece, and final question will be Rachel Nichols. Hey Miguel, hope you're doing well. What do you need to do on Game Four to bounce back after the loss in Game Three? And what part of your identity is to be more tough and more physical on defensive end? Um, we just got to come out, play our way, uh, play Sun's way, uh, you know, limit the fouls. Just play our ball. Just play our way, play, share the ball, and defend for each other. And uh, on the physical edge, this year, we just got to play physical, but also be smart. Um, you know, show hands. You don't want to get in foul trouble and uh, get them in a the bonus early. Final question is Rachel Nichols with ESPN. Hey, Mikhail, I know you've talked about this on and off uh, over the years, but just revisiting what happened on draft night, I was working on TV that night and we were all talking up your amazing connection to Philadelphia and your mom and everything. Um, now that you've had the distance from it, you're in the conference finals with this team. Um, how does that reshape sort of your perspective on that trade and that event and kind of now that you found your basketball home? Yeah. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh, you know, you just wouldn't know, you know, you know, at that point what was happening and what they were looking for for the future. And, um, you know, three years later down the line, you know, at this position right now. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just, I'm just blessed and just happy I'm here. I got to be in a position I'm in right now and um, just trying to, you know, keep winning. How does your mom feel about it? Uh, she's happy too. She's here. She's uh, cheering me on. So, um, so she is, she's, she's for sure happy. Thanks for covering familiar ground with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Appreciate the time, Mikhail. Thanks for sticking yeah. around.